cyborg eyeballs, a planet made of diamond, and how you can buy the Batmobile on eBay. It's Tech Life, your digital lifestyle in five minutes. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tech Life on Tekka TV. I'm your host, Ashley Esqueda, and joining me as always, the delightful Barb Dibwad. Hi, Barb. What is going on? Nothing. I, you know, every week we have to pick stories, just five, and it's very difficult, but we do it for you, and there's some good ones this week. A short online documentary out there is featuring a man with a cyborg eye. Yeah, it's just like that. It's actually based around a video game. So the game is called Deus Ex. It's a pretty popular follow-up to an older franchise, and in it, the protagonist has been debilitated by an accident and has been replaced with a lot of bionics. So it's he like a has... human Darth Vader. And what this new documentary looks at is how close we are in the real world to actually becoming this type of cybernetic character that we're seeing in video games. He lost his eye in a firearms accident and got fitted for a cyborg eye. He's able to record digitally his It's day. a camera, basically, yeah. inside his eye that can transmit footage to a screen wirelessly, which is amazing. Now, all I want to know is when I can replace my legs, my arms, and my eyes with cybernetics so that I can see farther, run faster, and pick up heavier stuff. Astronomers have discovered a new planet, which by itself isn't all that interesting, but what is unusual about this planet is that it's entirely made of diamond. I think Kim Kardashian just found her wedding ring. Hey yo! <laughs> it's actually smaller than Jupiter, but has the same mass as Jupiter, which is the biggest planet in our solar system. What's the science around this? So the way this planet actually formed is that it's orbiting a companion pulsar star, one of those stars that spins really quickly. Okay and it attracted and pulled off some of the layers of oh. the planet over time. Now, the planet being made of carbon, as the layers were stripped off and it's spinning really quickly, becomes very compacted, very dense, which is exactly how diamonds form on Earth, hmm. and also, as it turns out, in space. I'm sure that we'll see some American mining companies. De Beers become part of that race to space. Not only will you be guilted, gentlemen, into buying your lady a nice diamond ring, now she's gonna be asking for a diamond from space. <laughs> if you're in the market for a Batmobile... And who isn't? There is one on eBay. It's a turbine-powered, street-legal Batmobile. Street-legal? Street-legal. You Shut can drive. the front door. Barb, this is true. It's an exact replica of the Tim Burton era Batman films. How much is this baby going to cost? Well, Barb, me? it's only going to set you back $640,000. Is that all? I would like to suggest that we purchase this as a business expense here at Tekka, paint it orange, and fight crime in the streets of Santa Monica. I definitely think we should go investigate this right now. To the Tekka Mobile! To the Tekka Mobile! A new gadget coming onto the market could be an artist's dream by turning your analog sketches on paper into easily editable digital artwork. This is a really cool device. Yeah, this is made by Wacom, which makes, right now, artist tablets. You have a regular piece of paper, you use the clip-on, and the pen is pressure sensitive, and it wirelessly transmits that information to the little clip-on device, and then you can import it into your favorite editing software. So an artist, in effect, can actually sketch out their first layer and have all of their sketch marks and everything, and then, click the button for a new layer and actually start working on their final draft, which is really cool. So what's this gonna set back an artist, Barb? $199, which is pretty reasonable compared to the cost of similar tablet. tablets. It's coming out in September, so artists, be on the lookout for the inkling. A new time-lapse video showing off the beauty of our Earth's sky while the planet rotates is generating some buzz, and it's incredible and well-deserved. This is super cool. You've got to watch the video. It's so inspirational. Yeah, it really helps you appreciate, you know, where we are and, and the cycle of the Earth, which is a pretty incredible thing in and of itself. So the guy who did this, his name is Randy Halverson, and he shot this entire video in South Dakota, which is pretty incredible considering that the images look like they could have been taken anywhere in the world. He was very much challenged by shooting things like storms, and if you're familiar with time-lapse photography, or even if you're not, you know know that 
it's very difficult if, let's say, a cloud moves in the wrong way, you've lost a huge chunk of footage. Definitely requires a lot of patience and dedication to make one of these videos work really well. And we're gonna have a whole collection of this style of video for you in the show notes so that you can be inspired all day long. Well, that's all the time we have for Tech Life on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of your digital lifestyle needs. And on behalf of everybody here at Tekka, I'm Ashley Escava. I'm Barb Dibwad. And that's been Tech Life. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.